What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more of the Satisfactory Giga Factory building stuff and things that we're doing. Welcome back. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. We have a, we have a, quite a bit of stuff to do here. So we got the main bus up and running, uh, operational. It is what it is. We also have, uh, let's see. These guys are going rock and rolling, right? Yes. So we have reinforced iron plates actually being crafted already. Now we set up four machines for these, but we actually got a, let's, let's hop into this guy. We went out and we did some hard drive hunting and we have the alternate for the stitched iron plate, which is actually going to be quite a big deal for us because we have, um, it only requires 20 copper wire versus 12, well, that's really not that great. Well, this is this gives us three though. So um, I think we're gonna set up both of these. I think we're gonna have a reinforced iron plate and an, um, a stitched iron plate. And I believe we can interchange these like no problem. So we can have them delivering onto the same belt system uh, up here. So I'm not super worried about that, but we have a few things that we have yet to automate. A couple of which, well, one of them, there is a the crystal oscillator. We need to get that guy going. And I know it's a manufacturer item. So I really wanna get that rocking and rolling. And we also got a alternate recipe for a computer, which is super exciting because then it allows us to make them in the assembler and not a manufacturer. It only requires two ingredients, which requires uh, circuit boards and crystal oscillator. So, uh, oh, it says alternate recipe one right there. And then we have another standard recipe or alternate recipe for those guys. So uh, we'll probably actually use the alternate recipe for the crystal oscillator, honestly, but I'd like to get that set up and kind of going because it's it's one of those things that I am feeling like we're starting to need like a decent amount of and we, <laughs> we just don't have it. We just don't have it. So I think we're going to set up this guy because we already have this uh, this one little thing right here. Kind of give you guys an idea of what the heck is going on with this So Where is the crystal oscillator? Oh, right here. OK. So we have insulated one or we have a standard one. And I think we're gonna go with the standard because it uses cable and I'm not using a lot of cable for anything. So we're gonna go with that guy. Now we need three inputs. We need crystal quartz, cable and reinforced iron plates. Easy enough, too easy. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's kind of work this one backwards a little bit. But uh, yes, if you guys enjoy it, definitely leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for tomorrow. Also, we did start getting some walls put in. We got, you know, start making it look like an actual factory. Um, ooh. I actually have the stuff for walls. I need the stuff for conveyor belts. Darn it. So we need to get the crystal quartz actually sent over here. And actually, I need to take that out <laughs> because I've been uh, we've been. Yeah, we've been destroying the crystal quartz the whole time. So I need to get these actually sent over to my base. And I was thinking about putting like a truck in here or a tractor and like having a vehicle run it back and forth. But I was like, you know what? Honestly, we already have a belt that's like halfway there. Let's just follow the same belt line. Let's run a belt over there. It's reliable. We don't have to worry about it running out of fuel. And then we don't have to have multiple things set up for, uh, you know, multiple different um, multiple different items and whatnot. So that way we don't have to worry about, you know, overflow and stuff, stuff like that. So we need to get the crystal quartz, uh, which is going to be this guy right here. We need to get this guy sent on over to our factory, which is then kind of kind of take me into the I, the area of well, when we redo our trains, we're going to have to. Um, are you serious? Oh, my gosh, it's just a hair too short. There's that better. OK, <laughs> uh, we're going to have to have an area to like offload and have like main storage come in and things like that. So that way we can, you know, get stuff felt fed to our main bus system. So we're going to get this guy ran back over here. We are also going to need to bring over the explosive stuff eventually because we're going to be automating, you know, like everything. But we got to get quartz first because like I said, I really want to get the, the crystal quartz stuff done because I feel like that's something, that's something that like I feel like we've been needing randomly through random things. I just want to get it made and done for. All right, so we're going to run it down this way. We're going to kind of follow the path right here, uh, but we're going to have to go up just a hair. Ooh, it's going to be close. You know what? I don't think we're going to be able to build maybe oh well, let's see give me in the way no <laughs> darn it uh that's all right it'll be fine so we're gonna run these uh this way darn it that was just a hair actually you know what this guy's gonna get moved anyways because this whole area is gonna get shut down it I mean, you know we're not gonna need it so much so we're gonna use this area right here a little bit of lag there uh we're gonna use this area right here because i have the outsides of this area are used for uh you know running these resources and things like that but i think we're gonna use this inside area right here 
for the offloading of like the train goods and just like a buffer for things because we can also go ahead take out some of these foundations where the um where these where the, hold on let, let me get over there so where these columns are going to be we can actually remove the foundations off of these and then that will allow us to pipe things up in these same columns without it being you know a disaster so everything from the trains can go up through these into our our you know our main bus or whatever so it'll be all nice and hidden nice and organized things like that but like i said we're kind of probably run crystal oscillators off of this guy so let me go ahead and pull this off i'm hoping that we have room is there anything underneath this no fantastic awesome okay so actually you know what um i'm gonna go ahead now nah, we'll do those later all right so this guy is going to be where our crystal quartz needs to go now you can see i have this whole area and i really i really should just fill this whole area in uh and kind of get the storage systems set up for the most part now i'm not gonna do like a whole bunch of like crazy storage systems i'm probably gonna have uh two of the industrial storage guys two of these guys per uh resource we're bringing in and then everything after that it's not gonna matter because i think how we're gonna have to have everything set up is everything's gonna have its own individual either train cart or truck or vehicle or whatever so if it gets backed up it's not gonna back up the entire line but we're gonna need to bring the crystal quartz in right here and send it up and i gotta be careful because we're also gonna be having the elevators going down off of these so i'm gonna have to snake them up through the middle i believe actually let's go ahead and let's play with this a little bit here so if i put this there like that let's just let's put a couple of these in here like that am i able to put one i should actually be okay and actually crystal quartz is gonna go straight into one of these so that's not even gonna be an issue so we can actually probably just bring it straight down like this whoop so it's gonna need to be like right here like that and then going right into there that did not connect hmm i have an idea if i connect this to there get rid of that guy then i should be able to connect it okay we gotta sneak through this window here squeak <laughs> we did it all right uh let's grab this guy this way this way okay so we should have crystal quartz coming in right through here but then we have this whole, whole other side right here so if i needed to i could put something in else like, like right here run it up boom good to go uh shouldn't be an issue yeah that shouldn't be an issue but I gotta get some storage. I gotta get some crystal quartz. So let me get, let me just get the crystal quartz kind of set up here. Okay, we're gonna dub these the crystal quartz containers. Uh, we are gonna double up the belts because you know, maximum transportation speed, but I want enough room behind to bring all the belts in. And I also want enough room in front so we can, uh, you know, do what we need to do here. Um, that's gonna cause an issue. We're gonna have to run things this way and hopefully it doesn't interact with anything. Yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to run things this way because we're gonna have to have these we're gonna have to open up these columns on this side as well and you know what just to make things look a little bit better let's get the uh let's get these in here because this looks terrible no it won't even oh it will okay i was gonna say it wouldn't even let me put that one in there good okay Whew. uh so yeah that's how we're gonna have them set up we're gonna have a whole bunch of like storage containers right here going doing what they need to do uh we're only gonna probably do like one at a time as we bring in the resources because i want to make sure we're good and we're not like over doing it are you in the ceiling you're not poking through are you no it's exactly high enough holy moly <laughs> just high enough Whew. okay uh let me get these set up and we're gonna bring over the crystal quartz we're gonna run into there we're gonna run up that machine and then hopefully get uh the crystal quartz oscillator thing mcdealer going and perfect okay cool. so crystal quartz coming on in now i actually thought about something that i said that i'm like oh this is not that's completely wrong I'm not going to be running this uh, directly into the machine because I want this to be on a bus line in case we need it for any future things. So that is not going to be running directly into the manufacturer. It's going to be running up into a bus line because that's what it needs to do. Oh, and before I forget, we have a MAM research ready to go. Let's go grab our MAM research. What do we have? All right. So hard drive complete. We have iron alloy ingot, heavy modular frame alternate and electrode aluminum scrap. What does this guy normally require? so standard recipe is five frames 15 beams five and 100 screws oh it swaps out the screw requirement for concrete ups the other requirements but gives you three times as much oh that's a good one i like that one all right we're gonna go with that uh screws and copper wire if i can get away from screws and copper wire always a good thing uh, let's go ahead and start research on that one because screws of copper wire is such a high number 
and your belts can only handle so much so like these belts max out at 700 and something per minute so if you have something that requires 100 screws you can only have a max of like seven machines running off of one line of screws you know what i mean so i like to get away from screws if i can <laughs> that guy's sticking out there all right so i need to run this into a um a bus now i don't think i'm, I'm not gonna build the entire bus right now i'm just gonna get a part of it done uh it definitely does not need to be this high perfect needs to run in here like uh that'll work and then where do i want to run where do i want to run the quartz at i mean it doesn't matter let's just run on the outside for ease of use right now all right so we're gonna run it like that we're gonna go boop boop into there like so and i did it that way because i'm actually gonna be pulling quartz down right here and i don't want to do the whole line right now uh so let's go ahead and let's get this conveyor belt on here and bring it in like that uh we'll go ahead and get ourselves a conveyor splitter try to line this guy up a little bit actually you know what with this one i might as well just get this lined up as much as i can straight off of that and voila all right so that's good that's good that's gonna bring the quartz down in here what were the other materials i needed for this guy so i need cables and reinforced iron plates easy enough oh you know what i think i just realized this manufacturer is off a of hair these all these are all slightly off a of hair they need to be centered because look at our belts aren't our belts aren't centered that's not good no good there how's that look does that look better yeah see it wasn't centered Ooh, disaster averted um yeah there we go okay that's that's much much better <laughs> much much better okay cool Whew, that would have been terrible all right so we need cables and reinforced plates easy enough let's go ahead and grab this guy uh bring it right there grab this guy bring it right there all right so cable and reinforced plates is cable on this one those are pipes there's that oh we don't have reinforced plates even being made yet oh yes i do i just don't have one i don't have on a belt yet okay uh so cables this one right here second belt this line all right so there goes the cable and then like i said we gotta get this uh we gotta get these reinforced plates on line too oh shoot i'm gonna have to run those i'm gonna have to run a whole uh a whole bus line just for those because they're gonna go from like right here all the way around to like this machine right here all right i had i had a genius idea <laughs> instead of running an entire belt line right now all right how many okay hold on how many plates do we have in here oh my gosh we already have a lot um never mind i was gonna flip the output and have it just go the other way and have it go on the other side so i can just get that machine hooked up real quick but i think i think it's okay this way it's fine we need to run another belt line anyways all right yeah okay i i did i did do that exactly as i was gonna do it. <laughs> all right so that's good uh we need to get i need to get this guy actually ran into that because like might as well it's completely full of stuff let's just go ahead and throw a belt on it real quick just to drain her out uh yeah that'll work okay should send it whoop, right back into there fantastic all right so this guy's actually all connected up i believe oh no we gotta get the quartz actually hooked up uh and do we have power going to this machine yet not yet but we should be good let's grab where are you uh crystal oscillator uh that's right we're going with the original the og materials okay so there's that let's go ahead and pop in here and get the crystal hooked up squeeze through by crouching and this one oh <gasps> no, darn it it's the wrong it's the wrong way i didn't realize those were... i can't live with that all right let's go ahead let's get these guys connected and send it oh yes crystal oscillators here we come okay so now we also have to figure out how to deal with the outputs of these but i think i know what we're gonna do with that as well all right crystal's coming in fantastic and that's gonna make us some uh crystal oscillators one per minute oh my gosh that's super slow all right so outputs of these i think the best bet for us is probably going to be to remove those um and then oh darn it's on this side that's gonna be interesting let's see let's grab this oh no not the sand you can see the sand that's fine it's fine we'll get it spiffied up here in no time uh we'll run this down into there like that and then how do we clean up the top right here i think we're gonna do let's see we could run these can we throw the corners in here no we can't can we throw the railing in here no darn it you know, I could really use like a quarter foundation, <laughs> like a quarter, quarter foundation fit right here. I don't think there's anything I can do about this right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything I can do about this one right now. I think this one, this one's just how it's, oh, uh, I don't like that though. That is a falling hazard right there. 
All right, so that's that's pretty much the best I could come up with. That's the smallest way to make this as small as we can. Has a little bit of a fence. I wanted to put a fence post here, but it won't let me put the fence on this side because of that. So that's going to have to be how it is. It is what it is. It's fine. We are making crystal oscillators, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, we have we have some factory stuff going here. It's it's kind of nice actually getting some things kind of worked on. So uh, I think it's going to end this episode, episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. If you guys want to catch it live, uh, make sure you head on over to twitch.tv slash Z1 Gaming, where we'll be playing probably some Satisfactory Live. We did play Animal Crossing Live the other day. It was a fantastic time. We'll probably be hopping back into Satisfactory. Like I said, I want to get this factory going, rock and rolling, doing the things. And then I think, oh, hey, we got another one. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, alternate charcoal, wood into charcoal. That one's useless. Electromagnetic, ooh. Ooh, I don't want to turn wood into charcoal. That doesn't sound like a good thing at all. Cause like wood you have to collect by hand. So no, thank you. High speed wiring. We don't even need that. That's more for, um, for the, the space elevator stuff. But this guy, I guess that's, I guess that's our guy. And then I should have one more to research as well. Fantastic. I was really hoping to get the, uh, the polymer fabric because I really need to get fabric. So, um, I guess we'll, uh, We'll go from there. But uh, yeah, that's going to end this episode, guys. Have a fantastic day, and hopefully we'll catch you in the next one.